Hey everyone, D-Dub Squizzy here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. It's gonna take me a little while to get used to you saying that again. Exist. Okay, Very well. we're exploring the coastway. I'm gonna apologize in advance if you ever hear anything in the background. I'm not alone in the house, and other people are loud. Sorted. I'm certain we'll have to start employing more advanced tactics eventually. All right, all right. Cause so far the X vaults, X vaults, X vaults, kobolds, and wolves have required nothing special. The ogre shouldn't. I'm pretty sure we can command him to the ground, and then everyone can take a swing, and that'll put him down fast. It's kind of a cheap maneuver. But, uh, your only other option is go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an ogre. Which, at this level, is pretty much guaranteed death, because they don't miss. Not when your armor class isn't exceptional. I mean, I think my cleric, if I gave him splint mail, might have the best chance of avoiding getting hit. But even so, he might still get hit, and it would kill him in one swing. Like, minimum, they do 15 damage or something like that. And we're playing on a higher difficulty, so he's actually going to do more than that. So yeah, the command and everyone attack it once maneuver, it is. Alright, let's bring this guy down. I'm on it. Right, let's get him up real close and get him. Right, what's this head? That's that. All right, all right. All right, ogre down. The only other things around here are kobolds, exvarts, jiverlings, and bandits. Right, I already explored that way. So we have those girdles. Of course, one of them's cursed and is not going anywhere near my party. But uh, the other one, the girdle of piercing. In my normal games, what I'll do is I'll hand that over to Anshi, get the experience, and then uh, click Control Y on Anshi to deal 1,149 damage, kill her, and take it back. Because it annoys me when games force me to choose quests and items. And it's an item that's super useful, not like a little nonsense whatever. But I don't want to use any cheats in this game, except for the area clearing thing, because that doesn't affect the game, it's just for my own satisfaction. So I'm not going to do that. Which means I'll try to give it back, and if she takes it, that's that's just it. I lose that girdle. I might put a few points into pickpocketing on my thief once he reaches high enough level. And has 100 in locks and traps, I think I'll give him few into pickpocketing, because he also needs to take Algernon's cloak. See, in my no-pause run, it was no issue. I wasn't playing a good guy with a paladin, so I could murder innocents at my whim. And I, I killed Algernon and took his cloak, and I killed Unshi and took the girdle, and so it wasn't a problem then. I imagine on SCS it wouldn't be that simple. Apparently attacking one person gets the entire inn unhappy with you. All right, all right. It's kind of weird that the Exvarts spawn in smaller groups than the Gibberlings. It's like they're acknowledging that they're stronger than Gibberlings, 
but then they give you less than half as much experience for them. It's such a low amount of experience, I don't know if it ever really makes a difference. But I collect it all the same. But so my goal in this episode is to reach Baragost and then clear out the city area itself and be ready to move on after that. I've then got a few side quests I usually accomplish before heading down to Nashkel, just in the surrounding areas. Then I go down to Nashkel. Oh look, that's some bandits. Oh, that's bad, right, get him out of there. Forgot that they would target him. That's gonna be an issue. I'm gonna have to actually focus on defensive spells at some point. Alright, these should be worth money, right? I think down at Feldepost they're worth like 25 or something. Drugs weapon broke. I thought I had a second axe for him. Dang it. So his lore is 13. That is the highest in the party, right? Man, Wisdom gives you an insane lore boost, and it really shouldn't. Alright, I'm gonna need another axe then. That's sort of annoying. I hate the Iron Crisis so much. But SCS, if installed all the way, makes it an actual issue. I shouldn't have to deal with it as much from Throg once I get my hands on a magical battle axe. Because there should still be one for sale in Felda Posts. If there isn't, that's an issue. I get my hands on one, and then I'll only have to worry about them breaking half as much. And I think we can still do the whole high-quality quest line, where I get him to make stuff that counters the iron crisis problems. Very well. Oh, look at that. Golan Ven doesn't bother us the moment we arrive. That's awesome. That's all I've ever wanted. For him to shut up. Okay. Let's just get this encounter out of the way. Hey, you, there's bandits. My hero. Now, where are the rest of your men hiding? I'll be honest. I was. So, you're the. You there. Stand aside and give by my right as a wizard. Of, you shall not be privy to my men. If you wish to die. Away with you, you pompous creep. Oh, no. My maid should not be right here. We can't let her escape. Um, yeah, you're out of basically everything. Cast that anyway. Sunscorch one of them. Get in there. Fire. Okay, good. Tear him to pieces. Come on now, everyone tear him to pieces. Got him, okay. But you get out of there. Okay. I am really, 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 really sorry about what just happened since you were kind and fantastic. Let me just get my well, nothing. I'm ready to go now. I shouldn't have bought a gem bag, because I was just gonna get one from her, but whatever. Seriously? After all we've been through? Obviously, I had the wrong idea about our friendship. When you're ready to apologize, you can find me at the Friendly Arm Inn. There we go. Alright, alright! 
Alright, all in all, I think that went pretty well. I was trying to not use my sleep yet, because I think I'm going to need that, but whatever. Alright, alright! Um, okay, I do want to go in there. No, I don't need to go in there yet. So we have Silky, we have the spiders, and we have Carlat. Those are the real problems I have to confront. We should get some rest first. I can pick up a quest and get a magic item in here, hopefully. All right, all right. I wish I had my old tobacco pot. Of course. A waste of my talents. I think this is it. Yeah, there it is. Sweet. Actually, there's another one we can get. Hold on, I'll no send my thief on a little that. mission. No sooner said than done. One other magic item I can steal for pretty good money. Assuming it's still here and magical. Now, unfortunately, no one uses maces, so that fine doesn't help me a whole lot. It's worth some money, but I, I would really like some magical weaponry instead. I might need those. It's a high-quality bastard sword. Worth decent money anyway. Hopefully. So any unique named items are still the same, which I assumed would be the case. That means I know where we can get a guaranteed a waste of my talents. Um, longsword plus two, and a longsword plus one, and another longsword plus one, at least. Well, plus one, and then the, it's got fire on it, So, and that's in Durlax Tower. But, uh, but the Harrower and Varscona should both be untouched. But the magical flails all right, all right. and axes, you want some and even the magical two-handed sword I'm aware of, those might not be magical, you which insist. could be a potential problem. Uh, oh, they actually gave me that. Hand him these. Right, I probably should have identified all this stuff. We'll take care of that. Uh, all in all, I'm not all that worried about getting a magical longsword. That's normally a pretty easy thing to find. Alright, we can get some free XP out of here. And then complete a quest across the street. Here now, all right, get all right. out! <laughs> you tell him, Marl! There we go. I got some cheap beer okay. for ya. Take this. Oh, awesome. He has both. I could spring for this, but I don't... I'll take them both later. Maybe before I leave this place. But I'll probably end up grabbing both. Give me this. I can't use it yet, but I want to be able to the moment I get it. Alright, alright! Well. It's a hard to right. find decent folk nowadays. Okay, so now I got my scroll case. Won't need to buy another one of those. Let's go get the ammo belt. Ammo. Ammo belt. There we go. As well as a replacement axe. And I can peruse his inventory to see if anything has changed. Then we'll have some combat encounters. All right, all right. Kiss me, blimey. What you wish done? 
All right. He has an excellent mace. Excellent short bow. That's only has plus one Thacko on it. A sling plus one though, which is always nice. The quarter staff looks weird. Excellent long sword and short sword. Not that. Give me an ammo belt. I think I should take both this one and this one. I think those are worthy investments. Yeah, give that to him. There we go. All right, all right. Very well. Because the the short bow, of course. See, I don't know if I would have spring several hundred for a weapon that could break the first time I swing it. Because I I think that the high quality weapons can break. I don't, I'm not certain of it, but I'm pretty sure. All right, all right. But a short bow, ranged weapons don't break, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't think wooden weapons break either, so you could take that high quality quarter staff and be just fine with it. All right, all right. Salutations. Okay, so I think we should deal with Silky next. No, we shouldn't. We should deal with Carlat first, actually. I might need tactical advantage of every kind to deal with her. Being able to flee into this inn is a, an advantage of a sort. Carlat's an issue all on his own. Should have got a second axe for him. You're at the end of your rope, I'll wait. Alright, uh, all you can do is fire. That only usable outside? I don't think so. I don't know if this one will work. Awesome. Uh, he drank a potion of heroism. Got it. Sweet, I didn't think that that uh, command would work. I'm pretty sure he can save against that. And that thing is saving our lives, isn't it? I'll take that. Every advantage I'm missing, no it offers me in combat. Down. Of course, that'll change once they realize that I have a full party and start sending more than one person at a time. But so long as there's six of us against one guy, I should be able to handle it. Without a problem. That's probably about as well as that fight has ever gone. That dude is one of the few bounty hunters in the game that I consider actually competent, especially at this stage. Hello there. I have a pretty proposal for you. That's a problem. Look to be about worth 300. Oh, I was talking to the wrong person. Is she? Who's she talking to? I don't see the talking thing up above. That's weird. Can't use that. Oh, I should have that in there. There we go. All right, all right. Hello there. that until he gets a potion case. Okay, so that's them taken care of. Which is good. We're almost through in here. 
if we have a few thousand, yeah, it looks like we should have enough money to spring for that plus one battle axe, which should be cost much more money, if I'm being honest. All right, all right. Yes. Timber far enough without you bothering me. There we go. If you insist. All right. So this is a real all right, all right. hectic encounter. Actually, yeah. You might drink that before you go Roy, in there. Is this a, of course. For now. Now here's the plan. I'm hoping I can lure all four of the spiders out and then hit them with a sleep spell. And that'll put them down. I'm on it. We'll try it. Might go poorly. We're gonna try it anyway. Drink this just in case everything goes sour. Right, what's this then? Sorted. Right, what's this then? Okay, got most of them. Kill that. Awesome. All right, he should be able to just cut them all down. I'm on it. There we go. All right, all right. All right, so spiders are taken care of. Um, let's go explore this path, then head back to the friendly arm. Finish the two quests I've got. Then I'll head back into town, make my final purchases, get some rest, and we'll be set for the next episode. So yeah, if this is about the pace that we move at through this game, the episodes shouldn't be too long. I go until I decide we've accomplished enough for an episode, basically. And since I have a, a kind of a clear-cut plan every episode, because I know this game like the back of my hand. At least I know the base game like the back of my hand. Uh, we should be moving pretty fast. Enhanced edition, or uh, the Sword Coast stratagems could change some things. That's the whole idea, of course. That's why I'm doing this. I am excited to see what changes. Seeing all the high-quality stuff does make it feel almost cheaper to buy the stuff, but it also makes magical items seem more valuable. If you insist. Farewell. All right, all right. Okay, are you actually gonna take the belt? Yeah. The money was not worth it, but uh, 800 XP is pretty good. Awesome, my thief leveled up. So there are three items the mage has that he can't identify. Yeah, he's gonna need to rest a couple times once we get back to town. There aren't a lot of traps that you have to deal with in the early Baldur's Gate 1. So I'm not hyper-focused on traps yet. There are some down in the Nash Kell mines, though. And I definitely want to be ready for those. So let's get back down to Baragost. Gotta rest a couple times, sell off all that stuff. And 
take his normal spells back. Sleep did its job. It didn't put all the spiders down, but it put down enough. And a combined volley from the full party will kill one without a problem. These are all, of course, very low-level enemies. I expected one of those spiders to do something messy, because Smarter Spiders is on. And I think on Hardcore, some of them can spit webs at you, or web you with bites, or something like that. It sounds nasty. Alright. Morningstars are only worth two. Is that normal? I thought they were worth more than that. So don't sell this yet. Let me check something here. 1d4 plus 1. So the excellent stuff. I think some of this already get damage bonuses, though. Excellent long sword. Yes, you still get the plus 1 damage, which it said that you did. I just needed to be sure. Okay. Is that our only bastard sword? like it. I saw it was worth eight and figured I should wait to sell it. Very well. All right, all right. All right, so we have the arrows that we can kill the flesh golems with. Unfortunately, the only person who can shoot them is the thief, so it might take us a little while to kill them once we start fighting them. But I have a tried and true method of fighting flesh golems, which while they're big hulking brutes, they, there's nothing really special about them, or at least there should not be. There might be now, but I don't think there is. Which means I can just dumbfound them and run in circles. They won't know what to do until they're dead. Uh, I think I got a few of these. Both of those. We'll then see if that breaks at some point. Uh, and now I have enough money to possibly buy something else. I don't know if this guy has anything else I want. We can go check. I just wanted to get those out of the way first. This offers us a good opportunity to see if that axe will break. Which, even so, I've had weapons last me throughout the entirety of the Iron Crisis. And I used to wait ages to finish the Iron Crisis. So it's not that good a judge of much anything. Well. If you insist. But if it breaks, then we'll definitely know. Okay, so he has the mace, but no one uses those. Quarterstaff, longsword... can't afford a large shield. Or at least a large shield plus one, which I would take. Alright. We're saving money then. Until well. I can buy something else that I want. Alright, so I think that's it for this one then. So we finished up Aragost, got the quests for the friendly arm done. Oh, uh, now I plan on heading over to High Hedge, picking up the potion case, and maybe some spells that could be useful, and clearing out that whole area, then going south, getting Zerlong's boots and Mirian's letter, going south again and getting the Kull Kettle Amulet, then heading back to Baragost and turning all of them in. 
We should end next episode reaching Nashkel, having finished with High Hedge, the South Baragost Road, and the North Nashkel Road, being ready to then head into Nashkel and the fair and everything. But that's all for this one. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.